Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prevent that. In this tutorial, I'll show you a simple method to stop brakes failure crashes from ever happening again. Now, the brakes failure crash is something we are all familiar with from scenario play in the original game where all of the rides operated in continuous circuit mode. It doesn't always result in a crash. If the train is traveling slow enough as it enters the station, a crash can be avoided. Even though the station brakes are disabled, the train is not moving fast enough to cause an explosion. But for trains traveling at higher speeds, without the station brakes to slow it down, the results can be deadly. Now, the easiest way to avoid these brakes failure crashes is to set your ride to a block section mode, so either continuous circuit or powered launch block section mode. So basically, the train here uh, waiting for the launch will not pass the block brake until the train ahead of it passes this yellow block brake, like so. So now this train can enter the launch, and the train in the station can enter the pre-launch, but will wait at the block brake here until the train ahead passes the yellow block brake. So basically, having your ride in block section mode is the safest mode because it is not possible to have a brakes failure breakdown. But let's say you want your ride to remain in continuous circuit mode like all of the coasters in the original game, and you don't want this to happen. Now there's just a simple little trick that we can use that will allow you to keep the operating mode as continuous circuit mode but avoid these brakes failure crashes. So what we need to do is we need to fix the ride and then now we are going to make sure it's closed and then we are going to go into the construction window and right here we want to delete these two track pieces. Now we are going to replace those track pieces with block brakes. So go down here to block brakes and set it to let's say 13 miles per hour and then we're going to build another block brake right after it and set it to 9 miles per hour. So now we're going to try and test the ride and we're going to get an error. It's going to say that you can't have block brakes right after each other and that's okay. We need to actually change it to continuous circuit mode. It's in block section mode. Anytime you build a block break, the game will automatically set it to block section mode. So now that we're in continuous circuit mode, we can test the ride and we have our trains like normal and let's force a brakes failure and see what happens. And it might take a second. All right, there's the brakes failure. So let's fast forward for the train coming to the station and it slows down when it hits the block brakes. So even though there's a brakes failure, the block brakes are not affected and they will still operate and slow down the train. And here you can see it again. So the train slows down and can safely stop without crashing. Now let's look at another example. Here we have mean squeak from the crumbly wood scenario. And if we force a breakdown, let's see what happens with the brakes failure. It looks like this train will come into the station and not slow down, but it was going slow enough that it didn't cause a crash, which is good, which means this design doesn't really warrant any edits, but for the sake of this example, I'm going to edit it anyways. So what we need to do is we need to fix the ride and then close it, and then we need to delete this track piece here and replace it with a block brake. But we can't because this roller coaster type does not allow block brakes. So if you open up our cheats, it looks like they changed the cheat menu. They updated it in the last release, so I need to find the rides. Here we are. So we need to turn on the allow arbitrary ride type changes cheat. And then with that turned on, we can now change the ride type to anything with a block brake. So let's do the vertical drop coaster. And now we have access to the block brakes. So we will put that here. Let's set it to nine miles per hour. We'll add that in and then change the ride type back to the wooden wild mouse but the black brake shows up as invisible because for this ride type the track piece doesn't exist and now when I try and open the ride something's not right there's only two cars and that's because it defaulted to block section mode so we need to change it to continuous circuit mode and then now we have our normal nine cars and now we can open the ride but there's just one more thing we need to do we have that invisible track piece that we need to fix so what I'm going to do now is let's turn off the vegetation so we can see things better and now we're going to open up the tile inspector here and then take a straight track piece like this one here and then here we, you can see the track piece we're going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it on this tile and there we have it and now it needs to be above the block break so this is the block break and this one we can raise it up you can see this is the visible track piece but we want it on the upper layer so that the trains ignore it. And then there, it looks a lot nicer and has a fail-proof brake. Now for another example, let's say you are in a powered launch mode. 
Now, in this scenario, if we force a brakes failure, when the train returns to the station, it will not stop and just fly out the back, like you can see here. And as fun as it is to watch, we really don't want that to happen. So let's fix the ride. So first we need to close the ride to get rid of the crashed vehicles. And then now we need to build out of the rear of the station. It's not going to let us do that because of the footpath, so let's disable clearance checks. And then we just want to build a track piece here with the lift chain turned on. So let's do a steeper one too. And that's all you need, just two track pieces with the lift chain turned on. So now, when we go to test the ride and force a brakes failure, when the train comes back, that lift chain is going to force the train forward. So you can see here, it gets pushed forward. So that's what we want to have happen, and it's just going to keep continuing until it's fixed. It's just going to keep shooting itself through the station. But that's all you need to do, but we need to get rid of that little back tail on our station. So what we're going to do is open the tile inspector, and then we just need to select the track piece here and make it invisible. And here you can see it better. And let's do it for the other track piece. Select it in the tile inspector, make it invisible. And now we can fix the ride so that the train can finally return to the station. And once that is done, we can open the ride and there will never be another brakes failure crash for this coaster. So that's all you need to do for these powered launch coasters to avoid the brakes failure crash. So now you have all the tools to eliminate brakes failure crashes, whether it's continuous circuit mode or powered launch mode. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and feel free to check out the Open RCT2 tutorial store where there's lots of Roller Coaster Tycoon themed merch available for purchase that helps support this channel. The link is in the video description. Or consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member where you will receive early access to my latest videos as well as other benefits. And as always, make sure to subscribe, because next time I'm going to show you how to build this slingshot ride, so stay tuned for more.